Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Mm. Mm -hmm. Toasty with ching, tea. Ching ching. Hi and welcome to The Running Channel. We've got Rick and Kate and me, Anna, here today to go through some ideas of what to get the runner in your life for Christmas or perhaps you want to share it with your non-running friends and give them a bit of a hint. So what have we got here? <laughs> we'll start off with some lights. Um, we've got the Beryl Pixel 2-in-1 here, which we can go through um, with you in a bit. And then, Kate, you've bought this one yeah, as well. This is the mil it's called the Million Mile Light. Um, the <laughs> cool thing about this is that it's, well, it's, it lasts a million miles. I have not tested that. <laughs> um, but it's a bit like um, a bicycle one. It's powered by my motion. Um, so you can see, um, you can just see the lights coming on. So That's as you, you just click it on your waistband or something, right, um, or a rucksack or whatever you're using, and then as you move, it just you know flashes a bit. Keeps you safe when running in the dark. Yeah. Well, exactly. So that's why we super cheap as well. Mm. Yeah, nice little stocking filler or something yeah. like that. And then the barrel, uh, the Pixel Two in One light. This is great if you cycle as well as run as well, because when you turn the Pixel on, you can either have a white light. Or if you press it again, you can have it as the red light. Wow, it's like turning a human into a bike. <laughs> yeah, and you can have it flashing. It's pretty bright as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's super bright. So this one's a USB charge one. Um, so rather than that one creating its own energy, so yeah. you charge that one and it's got the um, wristband that you can put it on around your wrist or you can clip it onto maybe a backpack if you run commuting. Mm -hmm. um, and that has up to 10 hours battery life. How do you charge this one? You don't. It doesn't, it's, look, it's, it's, shake it. Um, yeah. Look at it when you shake it. Oh, I can't it only get it. It stays <laughs> on. I was, I was waiting for it to stay on. No, it's like a dynamo on a bike. It's yeah, all right. You run, you move. It makes light. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Glad I've got you two with me. Okay, so keeping with the being seen in the dark theme, we've got a reflective jacket here. The next one. This is the Pro Viz jacket. I'll just hold it up. This is the ladies' version. So. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> um, we don't care if you're seen. <laughs> Let's forget I'm here. No, you obviously get the man's version. So yeah, it does what it says on the tin really. You can see it's, it's highly reflective all over. Uh, nice and lightweight as well. You've got the um, breathable bits under the armpits too. So you can let out all your hot air. Yeah. It's got like an inner layer, it's quite breathable as well. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Zip and pockets. Super lightweight too, and zip pockets for keeping all your bits in. Okay, so we've got some buff kit here. Yeah. No. Interesting colours. <laughs> yeah, I mean, buff, like, it, buff is a brand name like Sellotape. You use it for generic things, but right. like, the original ones, I guess. Um, and you can get, they do a, every kind of colour you can imagine, plain black or whatever you want. Um, but what I quite like about them is they do these, like, running specific, I suppose, headbands, which are great for girls with longer hair and stuff. It keeps your hair out your eyes. Yeah. Oh, is this a headband? Um, no, that's a, um, like, round your neck. Oh, of, right. You know, um, okay. you that? A neck like warmer. A neck warmer. It's, yeah, yeah, although, as Kate was saying, like, in, we, we call them buffs. Yeah. Yeah. Snoods. Well, are they called they snoods? Are. Snoods. It's like snoods. a snood kind of goes like that. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the traditional, if you like, buff is, is the one like this. Um, this is they've made this one out of recycled um, bottles, which is kind of cool. Love this um, packaging. It's lovely packaging, isn't it? All recyclable, obviously. And then, so the traditional buff is just, it's like a, just a kind of hood of material. Girls with longer hair can use it to, or well, men, in fact, to put their hair back. You can wear it like over your ears to keep your ears warm. And then if you get too hot, you just take it off and run And like equally, that. when you've got it around your wrist, when you're running and it's really hot, you can make it wet at water stations yeah. during races. Makes sense, like makes London sense, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are kind of good for a cold. secret Santa style present, aren't they? Just yeah, kind of like that'd be brilliant. Yeah. Small and nippy. So at the other end of the pricing spectrum, and if there's something particularly special that you want to put on your Christmas mm. list or buy for a special runner, we've obviously got the tech kit oh. here. Um, some really nice things. Uh, going on here. So the Garmin Vivo Move. Um, Kate, you know much about this one? Yeah, so the, the Vivo uh, fit range from Garmin is a bit more of a kind of lifestyle type one. So for mm. people who want a watch that they wear all the time, can also track movement and steps and all the rest of it, but doesn't look too, well, too much like a sports like watch. Sporty. So if you look at this, I didn't even um, think that was a sports watch at no, all it's when I first saw it. It's got it's got a sticker on it which I'm going to take off so you can see. But so this is actually a screen. Yeah. Although as you can see, it just looks like a uh, quite an elegant 
watch, mm. um, but it still flashes up with your metrics mm. and, and, and so on. So it's really, it's quite impressive actually. Yeah. So the thing I'm always confused about with these watches, how long do they last when you've got them on? So is it days, weeks, what? Well, it depends what you're using it for. So this one lasts quite a long time, probably I think about um, five or six days between charges, but that's because it doesn't have GPS. What really drains your battery um, is a GPS. So if you go for a run and you have it on for an hour, it's not going to drain it hugely. Your watch will be fine. Yeah. But if you are, say, an ultra runner, or you're using it to track a, you know, an all-day hike or something, then you need a watch that can run GPS a lot longer. That's what this one, which is the kind of higher-end Garmin range, um, does. This is the Fenix <laughs> Five, and this is kind of designed for um, people who do ultras or get mm. off the road a lot. Um, they want to go on massive hikes or something. Um, and this one, even with the GPS on has um, a 19 hour battery life. Which you, so um, if you had it on permanently, yeah. 19 yeah, hours, you. right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is hugely more than your, your standard yeah. watch of any of any of the models. Yeah. Watches literally do everything now, don't they? Well, uh, absolutely everything. Yeah, you say well, that, that one's even music too, isn't it? Yeah, really? that's got yeah. music. Um, <laughs> I mean, all the so this new generation well, So Bluetooth, so you just use some Bluetooth cans. So, and it, yeah. saves, it saves your songs on it. Yeah, so that's, the, and I have the Apple Watch and that does the same thing yeah. too. It has a, a capacity to store, I think two gigabytes worth of music on your watch. So you can, from the phone, you can go, okay, I'll get that to the watch. And then you don't need your phone. If you've just got Bluetooth headphones, you can sync them up with your watch and then you just run and the music's coming from here, your metrics are coming from here. Nice. Tracking your um, GPS. Yeah. So it's, that's the new version of the Yeah, this is the, the Series 4. Yeah. Um, and it's got a bigger screen um, than the previous one did and it's got increased like and running mm. metrics and things like that. Yeah. Um, and of course, it does all sorts of other activities as well. And then, as well, we've got the Polar Watch too. Yeah. yeah. So this is Polar, um, <laughs> are huge in Europe. For some reason, they've never quite had the same sort of market share in the UK, but they're, they're really big everywhere else, pretty much. And they make really good running watches. Um, this is their. They just bought out two new ones, which were their first new watches for quite a while. Mm. And they've got all these new metrics in it, so you can get seriously geeky about your stride length and your cadence. So the other thing as well is that the, all the higher end watches now, um, I don't think this one does, but they all have heart rate um, detection built into the, to the wrist. So like in the yeah. back of the Apple Watch, you can see um, that's just, uh, that's detecting your heart rate. Um, right. this, these, these new polars do it as well, this one will too. They've all um, kind of got that built in now, because you used to have to wear a, stri a strap. Another present that you could get for a runner. I'm not talking about the laptop here. I yeah, because it's really hard to run and type at the same time. I mean, have you tried? True. Maybe we should try running channel challenge 2019. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not talking about the laptop in particular, but what I am talking about is Strava Summit. So for those people who haven't used Strava before, it's a social network for athletes. Um, so you can log your runs and all the rest of it. I know you guys have Strava, but Summit is the premium membership. Um, and there's some great benefits of, of having Summit as well. So you can use their safety beacon. So we mentioned that in one of our Running in the Dark videos. Oh, that's where you can track where somebody is, follow them their, on their run. Exactly. So you can like add in a, an emergency contact and right. fire off a text to them and just say, just to let you know, you're an emergency contact and this is where that person is and they can click through and, and track you. Um, and you can also look at lots of cool geeky data. So it's, it like breaks down all of your runs and your splits and you can really like crunch, crunch those it down. numbers. Yeah. See where you improve and see where you're not. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if somebody wanted to buy Summit for somebody else, you can log on to the website and do that and gift it to somebody for it to start on a particular day. So you can start it on Christmas day or whatever. Maybe Boxing Day. Are you not running on Christmas day? Actually, I am doing parkour on Christmas Day at nine o'clock. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, compared to any other time. And if you've got summit, you can, <laughs> you can track it on Strava as well. Um, so yeah, so you can gift it via those means. And also, um, if you buy the summit membership between November and December, then they've got a month free as well. From tech. To socks. Socks, yes, love socks. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be Christmas without a pair of socks in your stocking. No right? way. Absolutely. Yeah. These aren't any socks, though. No, these are not just any old <laughs> socks. These are the, because I feel like I'm going to do a Marks and Spencer's advert now. <laughs> um, these are stance socks. Um, you've probably seen them around, even if you don't realise you've seen them yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're getting really Crazy big. colours. Yeah, they do all sorts Patterns. of um, 
they do uh, collaborations with brands and stuff like that. Right. So they've done like um, Marvel superhero socks and so they, they have a huge lifestyle range too, I mean, as in like normal socks that you wear mm. every day. Um, but their run range is pretty extensive too, and they've got everything from the like super lightweight, um, no show type socks. I love the slightly more statementy yeah. uh, socks, and then they do super long compression socks as well. So from socks to pants, yeah, yeah. underwear. So what yeah. have we got here, Kate? So these are um, performance underwear. These are it's a, co a company called Sumi. Did you just say um, performance underwear? Well, that's what it says on the thing. Oh right, okay. <laughs> talking yeah. about running. Right? Oh right, yeah. yes, yes, we are. Yeah. Correct. Now yeah. obviously. Like, you might be thinking, I do not need running pants. They're just pants, it's fine. But, you know, people who have had chafing issues in mm. races or marathons or whatever, I think would probably happily spend any amount of money not to right. have to endure that again. There are a few other brands too, and they're always made of this kind of, the same kinds of materials as running kit is made mm. out of. They're sort of breathable, they don't get all sweaty, um, they wash really well, and they're designed to be, yeah, more of the time, so. They sort out the chafe. Yes. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> this is um, a flip belt. Uh, this is mine, so apologies if it's slightly grubby. I have worn it quite a lot. It, it looks um, like you. It's well yeah. Loved. <laughs> it's, yeah, it is well loved. It's basically just a running belt for people who need to carry some stuff when they run. So right. a bum bag. Yeah, kind of. Except <laughs> what's really annoying about bum bag style running belts for a lot of people is that they bounce up and down. Yeah. And if you've got your phone in one and it's sort of like going up and down, it's really irritating. Yeah. So these are more like they, they sit really close. They come in sizes for a start. So, so this goes around your, your your waist, not your neck. Yeah. Uh, yeah yes. You would belt. Yeah. Not that small, yeah. um, and you it sits close to your skin, so it holds everything. Yeah. Like without going right. around. So what can you get in it? Phone, Phone keys, keys, cards, uh, a credit card or gels. debit card. And basically, yeah. it's not going to fall out. Yeah. These, so it's got um, if you want keys, it's got a little clicking right. thing inside that you can stick them on. Um, otherwise, you just have these kind of openings, and it, it might look like things are going to fall right. out of that. But when it's upright on your skin like that, it, yeah, nothing falls out. It's amazing. You this is right up my alley because I've got these pants on. Oh. I've got them clipped in. Got got some um, cards in the back in the yeah. back pocket. Um, Never have enough space no. yeah. for keys and everything else. Yeah, this is something I really could do with. Get it on your Christmas list. If you two want to buy me a present for Christmas, <laughs> I would like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next up, this is a good pile of swag. I love this. <laughs> Look at all this New Balance stuff. So, start from the top. What's yeah. This? Um, this is a waist belt. Um, I guess this is like uh, th there's a phone pocket in it and stuff. So, it's people who really need to take a lot of stuff with them, mm. um, or even if you're just like jogging to a, a park run or something, and you can leave right. it by the side. It's pretty good for that. Um, generally, though, I just really like uh, New Balance kit. Um, obviously, there are a lot cheaper brands you can buy, like Decathlon and stuff like that. If you're on a budget, then that's brilliant for Christmas presents. But if you want to spend a little bit more without going all high end, yeah, I think they make really good technical stuff. Right. Um, I really like the guys' stuff. It's um, they look good in those, Rick. Yeah. They are quite funky. Well, really I like nice. these as well. I know what you're all thinking. Is there a net? There is. <laughs> <laughs> I was not thinking that. No. Thinking that? No. that must be a guy That's thing. That's a bloke thing. Yeah? Okay. How big's the net? <laughs> it's a big net. I'm going to check these ones I really now. like these. These are uh, no net. Like, but no these net. are more like, slightly more kind of... Um, they're like boardies. They're the kind of ones you could you could like do part running and then wear the, the rest know. of the day. Yeah, they're not. Great, so much stuff. It's like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that. So some more tag. Yeah, so obviously for people who listen to music when they run, headphones are a really good gadget gift. Yeah. Um, and you can get some really good headphones for running for under a tenner. There's, um, there's ones that I use um, all the time that I think Philips make. You get them on, on Amazon for like six quid. Yeah. They're obviously not um, Bluetooth. They're just like wires and they don't last forever, but it's six quid. Um, but if you wanted to splash out, if you um, if you're still feeling the guilt, mm. um, or you you, get, you know, haven't bought a present, um, my personal favourite are these Jaybird ones. <laughs> what I love about these ones, they're, they're what they call true wireless. There's no wires at all. It's um, and basically, what I love about them is they stay in my ears, and I have never found headphones that stay in my ears before. I really? What's wrong with your ears? I don't know. They're really there's something very. Okay, wrong do you have strange ears. ears? They look normal from I, the size. I'm backing Kate up here. Yeah. No, I'm backing Kate up here, and yeah. I have never been able to keep headphones. 
headphones in my ears properly either. Yeah. Really? Once I put them in, I can't get them out. <laughs> You've got what? three pairs got in there. Got three. <laughs> <laughs> These ones, they go in your ear and then um, the fin kind of keep it goes around the top bit of your e inner top um, bit of your ear, so it keeps them in place and genuinely they never fall out. Um, and they, obviously they're Bluetooth, but what I really love about them as well is that they, this is a case as a charging case. Oh, so right. when you pop them in there. You charge the case instead of the individual earphones. Um, that starts charging them, but then you don't need to charge the case again for. But the case days. is charging them without a wire. Yeah. yeah, so every so often you charge true the case. wireless. So every so you put your you mini, put USB, mini USB in. in there and charge them. Right, you charge the case. <laughs> yeah, but only once every... I don't know, I think I probably do about once a week. That's amazing. So the case charges them. Yeah. So if you pop them open again, Kate, then when you take it out, look, you see that I little see, I see, I see. connection there. The connection, yeah. So that connects into there. Yeah. And I love those. Yeah. The other great thing about the, them is that uh, if you're like me and you always forget in advance to charge things and then you suddenly, you're like, I'm going for a run, I'm going in five minutes. Oh, I forgot to charge them. Five Oof. minutes in the case gives you about an hour of usage time. All right, so power is, charge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it charges really quickly. So that button on the freezer, you know, you, you can <laughs> supercharge the freezer that no one ever used, but this is actually, you know, <laughs> actually is useful. useful. Yeah. And last but not least, it is Anna. Running Channel Swag! Woo -woo! <laughs> I mean, who would not want this? <laughs> exactly. In their stocking. So you might have tree. seen us wearing these, especially as it's got colder lately. So all the crew, Running Channel sweatshirts, you can buy your very own, which is very exciting. I want to see someone at Park Run wearing this. And that would be amazing. What? I won't go to your part, right? Someone who's not someone who's not me. Yeah, someone who's not <laughs> yeah. you or okay, Kate or my brother or my mother, you know, yeah. wearing this. Someone okay. I don't know, I want to see you at Parkrun wearing one of these. Challenge set. I mean, even if this wasn't true, they're warm, they're snug, they're lovely, they're cozy, you can snug up around a fire at Christmas in them. Even if they that wasn't soft. true, I'd buy one. Yeah. But they are super soft. But they are true. And it I've true. worn this after many a race and mm. been very, very snuggly in it. So yes, running channel swag. Why yeah. not stick that on your Christmas Get one list? In. Right, another oh. mince pie then, guys. Yeah. Hard. We I have mean, worked really yeah. hard. Yeah. Hopefully that's given you some inspiration for Christmas though. And uh, get some bits on your list and make sure you drop those hints to your friends and family. I know that, what I want. True, that's it for another year. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Don't talk your mouth full. Sorry. <laughs>